Hi, I'm Frank Spino. I'm a watercolorist from Melbourne, Florida, and I'm honored to be hanging here at the Museum of Arts and Sciences in Daytona Beach. I hope you can come out and see the show. Well, I've always been able to draw, but it was colors the challenge, and it wasn't until I met uh, Henry Henchy at the Provincetown uh, Cape School of Art that he opened my eyes to color. And that was my biggest leap forward. Around the turn of the century, um, William Merritt Chase uh, was a famous artist. One of his most noted students was uh, Charles Hawthorne, who took Chase's principles and uh, made the, put them into a teaching form. Uh, his number one student was Henry Henchy, and Henry was my teacher. Well, it's the brilliance of watercolor, uh, the luminosity, uh, the transparency that's uh, so wonderful about uh, watercolor. And uh, it was in 2009 that my mother passed away and I came face to face with my own mortality. I realized that I didn't have an unlimited amount of time uh, and that if I ever wanted to become an artist, I needed to begin. My friend called me up and said, hey, I'm gonna go over to this uh, Brevard Watercolor Society show. And I said, what's that? And uh, well, I went and I was amazed at the talent and I uh, was uh, excited and uh, that was the beginning. I said, I wanna do this. My citrus paintings have no gotten a lot of notoriety, although it's only about a quarter of what I do. But um, I grow citrus in my yard, I, I pick it, I, I paint it, and then I eat it. But it began with my wonderful wife one morning. I uh, came into the kitchen, I turned the corner, and she was uh, slicing uh, oranges to juice them. And I was blown away by the brilliance of the, the juice in this glass uh, juicer with the seeds floating in little bubbles and uh, the half sliced uh, spheres sitting on the counter dripping juice and I begged her to stop and I grabbed a camera and we drug all this into the sunlight because I like to work in sunlight. And I, uh, from that photo shoot, um, a number of uh, my most uh, important paintings came, including Fresh Squeezed, which was the first painting I ever submitted to a show at a national level, and it took third place in the National Watercolor Society, and also was on the cover of the most important magazine in the United States, or in the world. And another painting, Making, making O.J., uh, was on the cover of the most important hardbound book uh, of that time. So. That was really the beginning. We're fortunate in Florida, at least, uh, there are local organizations and organizations at almost every level, city, county, certainly the Florida Watercolor Society, uh, regional, national societies, these are great resources for an artist at no matter what level you're at. Um, my advice is to paint every day, because if I'm anything, it's because I've made every mistake possible many times over, and I've learned from them. The most important rule I could expound is the composition is king. So people work on trying to paint objects fantastically, but in the end, that does not make a good painting. A good painting happens when the composition is strong. Coming up in March is the 60th anniversary exhibition at the A.E. Bacchus Museum in Fort Pierce. A.E. Bacchus is a Florida landscape artist that hangs in the C.C. and Hyatt Brown Museum of Art uh, next door. I'm also heavily involved with the Fabriano uh, International Watercolor Platform. I'm their East Coast representative for the United States. We'll have a show, an international show, and this spring. Uh, from that, I've met uh, many artists from around the world and some of who have invited me. We've traveled to Thessaloniki, Greece for the uh, International Watercolor. Number five is coming up this year. 
We've also traveled to shows in Holland, Canada, and China. I have an important show in New York City, sponsored by Golden Paints this fall. That's exciting. But my number one goal is to have one of my Florida landscapes hanging in the CC and Hyatt Brown Museum of Art. I'm very happy to have this opportunity. Thank you for uh, letting me say a few words. And I hope everyone comes out and sees this show and this wonderful museum.